Rapid heart rate, increased blood pressure, tightening of muscles, increased sweating, whatever the symptom, we all experience fear. And it starts in our brains. There's a part of the brain that's called the amygdala, and it's so called because of its, it's Greek for almond, and it's, it has an almond-like appearance, to, uh, structure to it, in its shape, and it's a, it produces a near, near instantaneous rapid fire reaction to something that is potentially threatening. According to Professor Antoniadis, all humans are born terrified of snakes and heights, and our response is just as primitive. Automatic nervous system reacts to a snake far before we even become aware that we've seen a snake. It's tantalizing and it's exciting because we have adrenaline rush and our arousal is increased and, and we have heart palpitations. So we experience the rush, but then a rational system kicks in and says, it's fine, it's safe, it's just, it's just a haunted house or it's safe, it's just a Halloween party. For some, that increase of stress hormone or adrenaline can be addictive, proving that too much of anything isn't always a good thing. We're hardwired to uh, to detect threat and to escape quickly. And so if our, all of our mental resources are funneled into that threat detection mechanism, it's debilitating, there's nothing else we could do. It's more important to escape or fight and survive than to deal with things that are more higher thinking, like you know, plans for the future, mortgage payments, things like that kind of take kind of take the back burner when, when your fear system, when the amygdala kicks in or overrides everything else. For those that experience severe fear, there is hope. If you have a, a really debilitating fear, you would present it with images of mice, and then if you can relax and associate a more, a different autonomic response to it, so that of relaxation as opposed to fear, and then you can sort of gradually move up to the next step, which is a real mouse in an aquarium. And then if you can link or condition yourself to respond in a relaxing way to that, then you can gradually increase to the point where somebody could actually handle a snake. So whatever gets your heart racing, just know we can all conquer our fears. In Red Deer, I'm Bianca Jade.